This is a short video on using Dream Report within Soft Web Studio. This, in this video, we'll cover uh, an overview of uh, Dream Report and how to put together a small batch report. In Indisoft, you already know that uh, you can create some basic reports using the report worksheets, and here are some examples, and the uh, the associated output reports from those worksheets. Uh, this one is an HTML, XML. Uh, this is a PDF report uh, that is actually created off the text report and finally CSV. In Dream Report, however, uh, it's very easy to create uh, very nice looking reports in a variety of formats that uh, would suit a variety of different circumstances. Uh, Dream Report is extremely easy to use and as you can see there are a uh, myriad ways that you can uh, set up the reports to make them look uh, just as you need to. Dream Report takes its data from Indisoft uh, through an external Microsoft SQL Server and uh, then outputs that report in a variety of different formats according to your needs. As I mentioned, the Dream Report gets its um, information or a data from uh, a, uh, an Indisoft application. In this case, it is the PC Demo Mod dot app. Uh, and um, we'll just go ahead and run this right now so you can see the screen. In the industries, we'll go to food and beverage, and here you can see on the screen it actually is generating <clears throat> batch data. We'll just minimize these for the time being. Go over to the SQL Server database. Log in and see the data in the tables. This is in Trend 5. Uh, there's a batch history table and in Trend 5 uh, is where all the data is. You can see here the timestamp, bottle levels, all the way down to the batch name, which is also trended as well. So now we'll go to Dream Report. Since this is a new report, we'll uh, need to create a, a new batch definition. And we create a new uh, batch definition called single batch definition. Now if we push this ellipsis button here, use all batch IDs, choose OK. We now have a list of all the batches uh, that are in the database that have been created by our PC demo app and we'll choose the first one as our golden batch and now we can start with the report right click on here and we'll name our report dream report that's all we have to do in this um, configurator push apply Push OK, and now we're ready to go. We actually have a report here named Dream Report Batch Demo Report. The first thing we'll do is add a background picture. Dream Report has several that can be chosen. We'll use this one here, and we'll brighten it up a little bit by putting in a rectangle. At the top here is a banner and add a picture which happens to be our company logo there scale it to size we'll use uh, some information to as a title for the report in this particular case we'll use the report name here change the font to something that we can see Let's make it about 24, I think. There. And that will be in the header. The report name will be in the header, and we'll add a date and time. Um, 
um, just call it date time. And uh, that's really all you have to do in this particular uh, object. We'll put it here, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And that's that. Uh, that's how easy it is to configure a basic report. Now we'll add a table, item table. We're going to put it in right here. And get it from our external history server. Edit. Go to the bottle levels. And then we're going to add all the bottle levels. name is here and that's all we have to do so we've got all our items uh, in the selected list and now we're going to limit this table to only 10 rows and we're going to also call this last 10 batches like that and now see that this is labeled last 10 batches. Let's add um, a last batch report. This draw table right here. And we'll draw it in about right there. We'll make two columns and four rows. Choose text in here and this is the uh, batch name. Okay, in these fields here, we'll go back and use the single data again. And this object name will be um, batch name. I've added a second table here uh, to show the uh, last batch data. It's exactly the same as the last 10 batches, except that uh, I only have one row. So we end up with all the data for the last batch. We have the metrics in the table above it and the last batch here. Next we'll add a bar chart. This is based on value. This will be 1, OK, put in bottle level 1 add and now we have a yellow colored which comes from here choose it generate the report and there are all our bottle levels in a chart next we'll add a pie chart red button pops up we're going to make 10 slices and 10 It's okay. Let's stretch it a bit. Reload it. Yeah. Choose the report and generate the PDF. We'll change our view of it so we can see the whole page. 
and there's the formatted report uh, with all the values on it uh, and you can see how easy it is to put together a report like this. Once you're pretty experienced with it you can put together a report like this in about 20 minutes and uh, it's very easily modifiable. So if you have any questions please contact your salesperson and thank you for watching.